Oh, well. Well, anyway, uh, me and Christian got a big announcement to make. Now, you probably remember some time ago, uh, we were kind of upset about George Bush, you know, being reelected. So we figured, hey, what the hell, the time has come. So as of right now, I'm announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Now, in order to run for president, I've chosen Christian here to be my vice presidential candidate. Now, you have to be 35 years of age in order to run for president dude. and vice president. So I'm afraid we're going to have to lie about your age, dude. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, you lie about your age anyway, so. All right. Well, anyway, you're probably thinking, as president of the United States, you know, what kind of agenda would I like to set for America? Well, I have some ideas here I'd like to put forward with you. So uh, here's my first idea. If I was president of the United States... First, I would bring all of our troops home from Iraq. Then, I would reinstate the draft and draft all registered Republicans. Anyone who supports this war, they go to Iraq. You support the war, you go fight. It's that simple. Next thing I would do is I would uh, issue all draftees body armor made entirely out of Bibles. I would just love to shoot right through that. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you know, you put so much of your faith in the Lord, uh, he'll protect you. All right, my third one is, let's see, basically all draftees will have to scavenge for their own ammunition. If you people are truly conservative, let's see if you can live up to that label. Okay, uh, the fourth thing I would like to do as President of the United States is to make Star Wars a national holiday. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah. All hot licking chicks would have to dress up like Princess Leia in that Jabba the Hutt slave outfit. Or, you know, Natalie Portman. You know, or whatever. Okay, uh, the fifth thing I would do as President of the United States, seize control of the Fox News Network and have them play nothing but Michael Moore movies. God, that would really get under their skin. <laughs> Let's see, number six, I would abolish all sexual harassment laws. Finally, we can once again go up to girls exactly. and, oh say, and say things like, you know, you got a really nice ass and a great set of boobs, and there's not a damn thing they can do about it's it. I feel like those legs are so freaking great, and they lead up to a perfect ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see. The next thing I would do, I would pardon all nonviolent drug offenders from prison. I'm like, we spend billions of dollars a year putting these people away, and as soon as they get out of jail, they light up. It's yep. just not worth it, man. All right. Now, okay, I gotta say, I think life is precious, and you're probably thinking, oh my god, is Ken a pro-lifer? Well, yeah, in a way, I am. Therefore, I want to ban all forms of abortion, even in cases of rape and incest, for all registered Republicans. I think that should make them happy. Yeah. All right, now, you, I guess you had some ideas for a vice president. I would have to say, my key point, and one of the most important points I would need to make here, is a legalization of marijuana and hallucinogenic drugs. We're going to have to keep a close eye on this because we don't want people out there permatripping. And over 80% of Illinois supports idea reform, which is legalization of medicinal marijuana. The hell with the medicinal part, man. Let's just smoke it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Number two, I would start putting the taxpayer's money to actual good use, like porn and perhaps some of the school systems and putting real criminals away, not these, you know, not just these little drug offenders. Also, all you damn congressmen and senators would go to jail, because you're the biggest criminals. Criminals of them all. Third, and also very important point, globalized rock and roll revolution. Now... I, I don't know how I missed that one, you know? It's like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we all have to think about something. Yeah. Two half-brains... Make a hole. My last point here. Do we each have a half a brain? I don't want to think about math. <laughs> the last point is I would like to be in charge of the White House intern tryouts. The qualifications are you need to be a little bit chubby and have nice pouty lips. Because it's worked in the past and it will work again and again and again and again. And you will have one happy president. And a happy president is a happy USA. Yeah, God, I'm so horny right now, I'll even do a fat chick, man. Talking about fat chicks, what do they love? Food. I would also like to be in charge of the Food and Drug Administration and bring a new style to the ATF. What the hell do you mean by that? Well, I would just like to be in control of the drugs. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. 
Well, anyway, me and Christian were up at the House of Blues there, was uh, Shadows Fall. We managed to get an interview with, we think it was Matt. Yep, I believe so. Yeah. Now, this is actually Christian's first interview. Yes. Yeah, Christian, uh, you're a big fan of Shadows Fall, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I, actually, I, I started to get into them later, you know, like more recently within the last year, but they are actually a very good band, one of the new metalish bands that's actually coming out that is worthwhile of calling a good band. Yeah. I I, might, I don't know. I think they're okay, but since Christian was into it more than I was, I figured, hey, I think it's time Christian, uh, you know, you do your first interview here. Now we got to say Christian's first time was a little, you know, screwed up. The first time's always a little screwed up. Yeah. Um, I guess when we got there, you know, Christian was all ready, and all of a sudden the tour manager goes, okay, you got ten minutes. That kind of fucked with my head right there. Yeah, really screwed things up. So, uh, but it, it actually it didn't turn out too bad. But uh, so why don't we now uh, take you to uh, Shadows Fall, our interview with we think it's Matt. <laughs> We're not sure. We forgot to ask his name before we started. Hey again, motherfuckers. This is Christian with Rock and Roll Revolution. But if you didn't know with that, go fuck home. I'm here with Shadows Fall, and let's start. You know, last things first, could you tell us a little about, a bit about your new album? Uh, Fall Out From The War basically is uh, the kind of companion piece to War Within, where uh, a lot of the new material was, uh, I guess bits and pieces of it were around during the War Within writing sessions, and it's just stuff we never got to complete. So we wanted to, you know, complete that material, as well as uh, re-record some uh, old bonus tracks that we had uh, released over in Japan uh, years prior, and uh, a couple of covers. Well, so I hear you guys are getting a lot bigger now, and you're getting a lot more recognition. You had a 2005 Grammy nomination for your video, What Drives the Week. And I also heard that at OzFest, you sold more records than any other side band. At OzFest, was that true? Uh, yeah, throughout the OzFest, as far as, you know, the weekly numbers, yes. And uh, also voted Best Guitarist in 2004 by Guitar World. Yeah, I heard that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I guess it's true. I mean, I got the information, so... And uh, you've also played some videos with Damage Plan. Do you have anything to say about Dimebag? Oh, Dime was just the, the best. The best. I mean, we were, we were out on tour with him uh, a couple days before the... the a couple days before the incident? days before, yeah. Yep, we were on that last tour. That's got to be pretty harsh, though. Yeah, it was... But rest in peace, Dimebag. Indeed. And, uh, well, now I understand that, uh... No, fuck. More fuck. That. <laughs> Just keep and, going. Uh, now you're headlining the stress tour this year, and I hear you're playing with suffocation. How is it to play with a really fucking just crazy, harsh, old, known death metal band? Oh, it's amazing. They, they're one of my favorite bands growing up, and it's so it's cool to have them out here on the tour. It's, uh, it's oh, are they on? Time. Are they on Roadrunner Records still? They are on Relapse right now. On Relapse, okay, okay. And uh, what brought about the name Shadows Fall? I stole it from a book. Really? Yeah, right off the cover. What was the, just like not a really well-known book or nope, No, no, it was a very uh, underground uh, short run in the comic series. Uh, it came out years and years ago and it was called Shadows Fall. I was like, hey, that's a cool band name, so f*** it, I stole it. <laughs> and uh, I also hear that your singer is working with PETA? He's been doing some stuff. Doing some, just some work, some, some pumping out work or... Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not really sure as far as what he's doing with it, but uh, he's definitely doing some work. We, we just met some girl who wants to eat PETA activists. Yeah, they, she, if she's here, we'll send her up. We, uh, we did it. Our last interview was with the Girls of Metal, and I guess she said that uh, she wants to eat PETA activists. You know, I, to, 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 to each their own, you know? And, uh, I take that a number of ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any crazy spinal tap story that you might like to tell us? Oh, any God. crazy f that might have happened, buses breaking down, getting oh, oh. late to shit, I mean, oh, there's, there's got to be Almost something. every day is something else, I mean, we had, well, we did have a wheel fall off the bus once, which is not very cool, which is, actually, you can see the aftermath I mean, on our that, that DVD. Was, that was, yeah. in this DVD, The Art of Touring, you find a lot of interesting stuff, there's the, uh, the video with Dimebag on here, there's a few music videos, a lot of live footage, so... If you guys are interested, you know, pick this up, check out the new album, the companion piece to, uh, what was the name you of it? need to go through, go ahead. The last album again? Uh, the, the current release, Fall Out From The War, which is, uh, was just, you know, bits and pieces of the War Within writing sessions that were, uh, left over that we wanted to complete. That's what that is. 
And uh, I understand that you were the only band to be invited to a two-year stint at Japan's Beast Fest. Now, what exactly is Beast Fest? It's just a, a two-day uh, festival over there. It's a huge indoor arena like thing. It's like an Oz Fest, Lollapalooza? Kind of, yeah. We just like an all-day event, but it's all on one stage in an uh, arena over in Tokyo. It's uh, amazing time, real fun. Well, why don't we get into some videos here?